Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to Power Playground. This is your host, Michael, and today I'm just going to do a quick little up episode for you all here. This is going to be about troubleshooting a, a connection error when you're trying to charge 18650 batteries with the IMAX B6AC V2. I think this also goes for the non-AC version, the B6 or whatever the heck they call it. Basically, the issue I ran into here is I have a lot of cells. They have a little lower voltage. Like these are, uh, I have these marked as two volts. And these ones here, they're a lot lower. I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna try those out here or not, but definitely uh, I'm gonna consider them. And then we have some 2.53s. So essentially we have got a bunch of lower volt cells here. Now what, let me go ahead and load them up real quick. Now with this machine being very smart, like a, more of a smart charger as they're sometimes referred as, it has some uh, safety features here, which unfortunately can get in the way of things if you're trying to charge a certain set. I'm just gonna go ahead and load up the bank here. These batteries are pretty similar in capacity. But there we go, I have everything ready to go. So five amps at 3.7 volts for all 16 cells. Let's go ahead and start it. And then connect error, check main port. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit stop. We're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, stop again. Go back to battery meter. So it's measuring at 2.16 volts average across all cells, which is a bit low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and find these low volt cells, which are these guys right here. I'm gonna verify them with the multimeter real quick. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, for some weird reason or another, some of these batteries do climb up in voltage after I separate them from their battery packs. Okay, so 2.22, they seem to be kind of level. What I'm going to do here is I have some uh, other cells. They aren't exactly the same capacity. I'm looking for a, the, basically the highest capacity cell I can find here. So I got some 3.5, I got a 3.56, 3.45, and a 3.56 in here. I'm gonna go ahead and use these guys and cheat a little bit just to get everything back up to voltage. So let's go ahead and start here now. So that's 2.75 volts. Now that I've added these better cells and took out these 2.2 volts, I think it was 2.22 volts for these guys. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. Go back to our LiPo uh, battery. Hey, there we go. Okay, so that worked. So that's pretty much all you have to do is you just have to keep some batteries standby here. I'm probably going to take these out once it reaches its desired voltage level. And well, of course, I'm just going to let it stabilize for a little bit here. And then once, once all the batteries have reached that, I'll go ahead and pluck these back in and then I'll go ahead and charge everything as normal and then it, it'll should self balance everything out here because it, it is charging it really the uh, BA6 is charging each battery just a little bit over 0.3 amps each which is a pretty low charge so the voltage should or usually does balance out pretty well at the end of things because it just goes lower and lower and lower as it uh, as the cells start filling up and gaining voltage so definitely a pretty safe way to do it and of course if any irregularities do happen you just got to keep an eye out for heat overall pretty simple little process here and there you go folks well thanks for watching here if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button consider subscribing and check out some other videos here on the left here yeah, they're pretty cool and as always folks have a great day